children may say they don't want it. They want it. They, they want somebody to come and look for them. And unfortunately, our current processes are really reliant on a parent advocating to the nth degree for a child to be retrieved. And if there's no parent that's advocating, nine times out of 10, there isn't going to be the processes in place. As, in fact, Monica, did you read the article about the uh, or see the show of uh, the thing about the missing uh, 15 year old that went missing at the Mavericks game? Yes, 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 yes. I, 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 you know, and it's, I read about it again, like what I was saying earlier, a a game where there's millions of people, millions of eyes, girl just, you know, uh, went missing. Right. And while she's there with her dad, Mm -hmm. sitting in the chair, says, I'm going to go to the bathroom. While she's in the bathroom, she, she comes in contact with some guy and she leaves with him. And somebody said to me, why would she leave with them? Walter? Well, you answer that question. Why would, why did she leave with them? You know, that's a very big answer. There's a lot of things that it's really dependent on each individual kid. Like there's a lot of things that you can entice somebody with to go with you. Like the whole stitch, they always have that conversation like, oh, don't travel with somebody with the offering you candy. This is all kinds of different things in this day and age, technology, and all the things that are associated with it, phones, money, those are all great things that kind of entices people to go like, oh, I have more, come with me. And that's kind of one of those things where you just start going off that cliff into the into the area of human trafficking. You don't, yeah. you, you don't see it until you're in it. And by then it's too late. Too late. 